Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers. Opinions are like assholes, and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody, Everybody has, has one. one. From left to right, we got the EHO Originals in the building. We got Straight Shot No Chaser Brandy Danielle in the building. We got Lil Brain James Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus Arco in the building. God, the last but certainly y'all. not least, we got Chuck in the back with the facts. Moment of silence for the competition. <laughs> Oop, my bad. <laughs> that way I wasn't ready for that. I'm sorry. All right, now one time for the queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One time. Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. Two times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My babies. <laughs> Yay, go out on his uh, uncle your shit with uh, Showtime uh, and Scrooge hey. is running late. He said he's going to be here eventually. So how everybody feeling? Spirits high? Good. Energy good? good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, man. So you already know we're going we gonna to get straight to the topics. Oh, can I say something real quick? Man, shoot your shit, Brandon. Let me give a shout out to my my niece, Otto. I'm proud of you, baby. She won the talent show today. She did a little rap on the stage. Oh, she, baby got talent. That shit. Yeah. All right. All yeah, right. 11 years old. They're running the family, huh? She get it from around. Ah. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Don't leave that out. And shout out to her. So look, this is how I want to start this off, right? Before I start it off, I need to make a phone call. Hold on, let me. That ain't proper. Let me do it like that. Okay. All right, there we go. Hello. We got OG Mac on the phone. Everybody Ooh. make some noise for the OG, man. My brethren, my brethren. What's up? What's up, OG? OG, what's good? What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? Can't complain, big dog. How you All feeling? Right. We here. I'm pretty feeling pretty good, man. You know what I'm talking about? All right, I'm so enjoying this space. Okay, where, what city you in? I'm in uh, West Liberty, Rhode Island. Okay, Rhode Island. So Rhode check Island. check dig. So I'm about to go through this topic, but I wanted to call you because I feel like this can this will probably hit real close to home, and I like for you to speak on this. Is that cool? All right, so check dig. This is the post. This is somebody that I'm guessing was formerly a part of a blood set of some sort. And this is what he say. He say, firsthand loyalty to a secondhand cause. I used to ride or die for my homies, ready to give my life for them. But little did I know all that loyalty was only serving someone else's agenda. It's crazy how changing my life exposed the truth about those so-called friends and the love that never existed. As long as I played the crash dummy, always down for whatever they wanted, they showered me with love. But now that I've grown, evolved, and said no to things that don't align with my new path, their support and presence are nowhere to be found. Mm. Why is that, you might ask? It's simple, because change is a mirror that reflects the truth about life. It separates the real from the fake, the genuine from the opportunistic. It reveals how truly, who truly cares and who is just there for the ride. I may have lost some along the way, but I gained something far more valuable, self-discovery and a clear understanding of what true friendship means. So here's to embracing change, standing up for what we believe in, and attracting the people who genuinely support and uplift us. Embrace change, true friends, self-discovery. Amen. Amen. That's, that's, a, that's a word. Hey, that was fire. Yeah. And I, ca- and I called you specifically because I know we've had these conversations before. You see what I'm saying? And I know that, well, it's no mystery, it's no surprise that you are a, a member of the Rolling 60s, cr- the Crip gang, right? The Crip set. Yes. But you don't move uh, uh, at the sound of somebody else's drum. You feel me? So whenever you hear this, I want to know what you think about it and uh, what you have to say about it. I mean, when you uh, 
doing the doing the partying and bullshitting, you know, a lot of people going to follow that. You know what I'm saying? True story. So it gets to a point where you take losses. Like me personally, I can totally relate. When <clears throat> So when I went to jail, before I went to prison, I get out from getting I get out from prison and my mindset was on something else. Uh-huh. It was no longer on we about to go rob this dude or we about to follow this person or we about to go turn up at the club, we about to ride with our guns and all you know what I mean? It wasn't about that no more. Uh-huh. So what these OGs ain't telling you after they do they uh 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 look 40, 50 years, when they get out of prison, bro, they don't tell you, you know what I'm saying, that was bullshit. You got to figure it out for yourself. So I did seven, and I figured it out for myself, like, okay, it's time to move like entrepreneurs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had that two, three businesses before the pandemic, so I can totally relate to having something and progressing, and you know what I mean, when you go a different direction, when you're moving right and you're moving positive, all them everybody ain't going, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not. Cause they now you can't, you can't. You, your mindset is on something else, and, and you, you know what I mean. When you focus on you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, or you focus on your team and everybody come together. That's why this is what you you always you y'all got a blessing here. You feel me? Yeah, but for you know sure. what I'm saying? Like when everybody got a dream or or personal goals and shit, you know what I'm saying? And you move towards them, man. The people that that that's, that that ain't going, they ain't going. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so and you gotta leave them behind. You gotta disconnect. Big fact. Yeah, that's a mm-hmm. fact. And you know, I wanted your opinion on it because it was an actual member that was speaking on this change. But you know, that is a a reflection of just life period because you don't gotta be a member of a gang to be into some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Cause I know I done been a part of my fair share of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Caution gang was nothing but bullshit. I'm not gonna lie to you. And you know- it's the same gang, just different name. Yeah, for sure. Um, And it come to a point to where you gotta outgrow those type of situations. You know, everybody can't go with you. Mm We try to express that a lot, you know what I mean? Like, and um, I don't know, I'm just grateful for the people that I ended up hanging around now. You feel me? Everybody yeah. is out, is ain't no disrespect to nobody I used to kick it with because you know it's our love, but we just ain't on the same type of timing anymore. I mean, y'all just out, you just outgrew them, yeah, you know for sure. I mean? And I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna necessarily say outgrew them because some people you outgrow, but some people y'all just grow two different y'all just you know what I mean on the yeah. on a different path yeah you know for that? sure start living your own life families but, all but, that type but, of stuff mm-hmm. yeah but your mind sometimes when you can't be stopped and you stuck on one thing mm-hmm. and it mean everything to get it done mm-hmm. it's people that's gonna be on the sidelines you know sitting there gossiping and judging you and they yeah. ain't meant to be there bro yeah you feel me yeah and that's it that, happens that man you preaching man. they mix it with alcohol they mix it with a couple of dollars some weed riding around you know what i mean it's it's it's, it's tricky out here bro mm-hmm. and they and it could be the ones closest to you you know what i mean like that that that'd be even trickier, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's it's where it, that's where it come from action. first. That's crazy. That's where it come from first. It's the all part of life. That's, that's why the motherfuckers is closest to you. But that's what that's what really that's what help you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? See a breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? Because to be a when person. you when you really got to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, you got to stand on it, and it is what it is. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's all that's life lessons for real. Plan. Yeah. But when people get to breaking the plan, that's that be the big, oh, big man. give up right there. You know what I mean? Like, hold on, what mm-hmm. you talking about? Mm-hmm. Brandy, you, you know ain't gonna, Brandy yeah. need to speak on this shit. You know, she used to be a member of MS-13. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know how much gangster shit you got to be on to get uh, brought into a, a Latin uh, you know, a Latin gang? Don't and you black? Don't try listening to him. Don't try listening to him. Wait, you know how they always say, 
uh, when it's a whole bunch of black people and then it'd be the one white person that's in the group, they'd be like, <laughs> that's the motherfucker you got to worry about because you don't know what he had to do <laughs> to get accepted amongst those people. Oh, Just imagine what Brandy had to do. Mm-mm. I'll Dang. say I'll say this. <laughs> I'll say this. I have been affiliated with, with the Bloods, but from the experiences I've noticed about being around them, and I ain't going to mention no names, I've seen a lot of fuck shit and everything. And I used to look at some of them like, this what y'all want to be a part of? Like, mm-hmm. oh, man. how's this, I you know? That's the fuck shit. And trying to be down. <laughs> you feel me? And right. I'm going to say it took one of my friends that's a female to to have a baby to, like, realize, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, all we doing is kicking, partying. I'm staying in, in and out the county and shit like that. So, mm-hmm. and I'm happy to see her today at 36. Like, she doing her thing. You talking about blood, cuz? No, nah, no. Nah. That don't <laughs> we ain't gonna even get to her. No, she's still. Okay. What's up, blood? Oh, that ain't still, leaving she's her. She's still on that. She's still on that. <laughs> okay. She All just right. flew back to Cali. Right. She just flew back to I Cali. mean, that's the thing now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the maturity level, like, it'll show. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because you'll know to be appropriate around certain people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't take care of business saying blood and, and, and cuz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't get nothing done calling the bank. Or, or going to the banks, like, what up, cuz? I'm trying to uh, withdraw. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's so. crazy. You feel me? But the fuck shit, the list of fuck shit, I got a list of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had homeboys trade in goals for gang goals. Yeah, man. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. Like, they, want, they wanted to be a, somebody in the gang world. Like, had a lot going on right next to me. It was my right-hand man. Yeah. And he sold his soul for, you know what I mean, to to, 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 to be in the game. For acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that goes yeah, on a true lot. True story. Man. All right, Mac. So, we about to go ahead and try to knock out a couple of these types. Brandy leaving. She done double booked on work night. Um, but we ain't going to hold that against her. So I'm going to tap in with you uh, in a minute after pie, bro. We appreciate you on your input. You know, we love you, big dog. And we can't wait for you to come back. Love you, OG. Take it easy, OG. All right. One, one, t- one time for the OG, y'all. One time. One time. One time. All right. All right. You hit it. <laughs> You know what, though? I thought about, while y'all was talking, Yummy Sandifer came to my man. Rest in peace to that little boy. He was a lost little child. You know uh, you know who Yummy Sandifer is? Mm-mm. You remember when uh, Tupac had that jail, uh, that he went, when he was in jail, he had that uh, interview, and it was a picture of a little boy in back of him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yummy was like, man, this nigga was a boy. He was terrorizing the streets, 13, like 11, 12, 13, like that. And he did a hit for the gang, like the GDs, I think. Threw his life away. Shoot, after he did that hit, they hired, uh, they had another two uh, teenagers from the gang to kill him. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So rest in peace to him. Rest in peace. No. Oh, this oh, thing got on geez. a suit. Right, so, <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh, hey, hey, hey. We're, hey, we, 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 we working. <laughs> so look, we're about to get to this other topic, right? Oh, Lord. <laughs> God bless y'all. Stacy We got to since we at the we we at the peak of it. We at the end of the the Drake Kendrick war. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like we we this is the point where we do our last words for my man Drake. Mm-hmm. It's a funeral. Moment silence. You know what I mean? He lost. He's dead. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. I saw. But it came. I did. <laughs> I, so, I was a firm believer. So, I said if it went the distance, Kendrick was gonna come. So check this out. I'm about to go ahead and play this clip for y'all, man. Addressing uh Drake's culture vulture ways and the way that he steals from the fucking culture. What did we he steal? Not, we not talking about he how he said all of you niggas, what? including nigga he's in a big with. Nobody wanted to take that nigga on tour. Don't make me sit here and look like I'm dick riding. Go look at all the interviews. These niggas are saying, yo, if it wasn't for homie, if it wasn't for him, yo, if it wasn't for him, I don't even know what yo, 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 salute to the I'm not, don't make me say it. These niggas said it. 
Kendrick thank this nigga. Rocky thank this nigga. The Weeknd thank this nigga. Rick Ross thank this nigga. Now he don't write his rhymes. Kanye said, yo, he wrote all my shit. I wish I could have that nigga write all my records. Well, the young Lord Kanye and Savior, is. Kanye. <laughs> young Lord and Savior. All of a the sudden, honorable, I gotta sit here. Nah, 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 I'm talking now. All of a sudden, I gotta sit here and look like I'm some OVO, Dick Rodden, Drake Caper nigga when I'm just presenting the facts. He helped each and every one of these niggas. You would have never knew who the fuck the Migos was if Drake didn't remix Versace. What? Oh, oh my God, God bro. Drake is addressing. Do you, recognize, do you recognize that voice? Before yes. You? So what? Yes. Do you, so what y'all got to say about this. that? Because there's now, video evidence of this. I've I was, seen. I was with him up until he commented on the Migos and all of that. I was really fucking with the Migos before Drake had tapped in with him and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I was really into my. But we know mixtape shit. But check this out though. We know the Migos ain't going against Drake, so that's kind of like the small detail that we could we could even we could look over. Yeah. But when it come to ASAP Rocky, when it come to Kendrick Lamar, when it come to Rick Ross, when it come to the Weekend, when it come to Black Boy JB, when it come to Future, when it comes to but did he not have something to gain out of fucking? Thank you. That's where I was about to go. Not all of them. Not all of them. What would you get out of fucking with Black Boy JB? I don't even know who that is to be honest. My point exactly. Shoot. Oh, okay. Shoot. All That's right. on my mama. All right. Okay. Yeah. But point, point exactly. Oh. Man, that was my point. Point made. No. Like if, like if certain. I, now I'm gonna say this. I can't say that we wouldn't know who certain people are mm -hmm. if Drake didn't work with them. But, but would Ross they have? Had but would they have had the success? It's that they had with certain projects if Drake wasn't involved. Not even just the success of a project, but or the trajectory them, of their career. The career right. Because you got to think. Now, we was hip. Some people may have been hip to the Migos, but nobody can deny and say that the Versace remix with Drake on there didn't really like. Turn it <laughs> up. Okay. Okay. I, honestly, I can give y'all that. I can give y'all that. He has mainstream fame, but however, but, uh, it's a it's a thing to it as well. Exactly. Drake, Drake does that. If you he has a pattern of always trying to jump on you mm. when you are straight, fresh, and new. And have y'all thought about it when he gets on the track with them? Next minute, he start taking a flows. I mean, so it's a win that, win for him. Does that not make Drake then, a visionary wait, if he could see the future? Wait, see that this is going to be the sound. That, and do he not add? Why wouldn't I want to do a feature with you if you got a nice, a nice little young fan base? I've already been out here for almost 10 years at that time. Let mm -hmm. me, you feel me? Let me appeal to his younger crowd because he's the new wave. That's they how you the stay relevant, the new wave. Though. Thank you. But that's, yeah, that's, that's, but, that's how you but, stay relevant. But Future does and that, he though. And he used this thing well for the benefit of him. But, Hold on, but at the same that's, time, that's, that's we can't act move. like that nigga Drake don't have the Midas touch. He do. Uh, he's he does, nice. He you have, listen, you have Look. a sound. You have, Let's say you had a specific sound that, that you, you, you knew and upcoming, right? Everybody might not use your sound if it's not if it wasn't for Drake. It's almost like he co-signed what you do by using your shit, and it turns you up another level. Like I said, he a vulture. Would the Migo Kendrick flow be lag. the Migo flow? Kendrick if it was, are you talking about the uh, the the, Mar the Mariners, the Jordan Twos, this raw <laughs> rare shit that you just can't? Yeah. No, <laughs> the shit that's next to you, sir. Oh, you're a geek. You, you got to really done. focus on I'm what's done. going on, man. You late oh, and shit. You worried about some jars, man. Put your... I'm come on, man. I just it, so I'm, but on, wait. I'm on Dean. Man, Kendrick was not this. lying when he said... Because let's be honest, yes, again, he does have the Midas touch, but he uses it to a benefit for his career as well. Kendrick wasn't lying when he said, you didn't get in the club until future... So what's he wrong? Wasn't, we wasn't playing Drake in the club. We wasn't up in there. I better find your loving. We was not listening they to that shit they up in there. They have it. That's we a fact. Wasn't, he didn't start until he got with Future, and we started hearing club bangers from mm -hmm. Drake. So he still uses being with you, even though he's gonna get you up there. And he that, still uses you for and, his benefit as well. So what's that, wrong with that, that though? They got Future. He didn't start becoming a gangster until he got with with, with uh, Future Savage. Future and Ross, uh -huh. but. If we uh -huh, if we both capitalize off each other, what's wrong with that? Because the way I feel is if you're not useful, you're useless. That's the if, thing. It's like Wayne never had to do that. It's he like nobody still, needed you. You know what I'm saying? We needed each to, other. But, but not to mention though, you got to think of how Drake started out. 
That nigga shit was definitely in the clubs. It just really wasn't like no gangster what shit. Club? Man, what club? What? What yeah, the listen, Oregon what street? Club? Well, we can't, you feel me? No, look, no, what well, we uh, can't do. Uh, once the club settles. <laughs> listen to Marvin's room in, in the club. Nukums, what, oh, but I, that's on Take Care. Who Who what? That's I, one of his classics. You t- you tripping? We was them not in every... there listening to baby. You're my everything. You are not in no damn clubs. Not, Man, not club. cr- crew love. All of that shit what was getting. Was you at? I'm saying all the of that shit. Rose? All that shit was getting wait. club play. The motto do was that. in the club. The what? Motto. A, a, a lot of Drake uh, shit was in there that 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 missed me every day. that missed me with him Ain't and Wayne, Wayne that shit with uh, that uh, but he's the, why like, are you break dude, that, what does that happen we songs? talking about when he started Back leaving then. outside but that was camp. after he started he wasn't fucking with you know no, what I'm saying yes, that, that take was. care that take care that take care came out way before motherfucking he did anything with future hell no that was way after stay scheming and all of that shit no. Yes, Take sir. care, bro. Came out in 2011, 2012. Okay, can I play another clip? Go ahead. Let me play another clip for y'all, man. I'm just saying. Drake is a real good dude, first and foremost. You know, he heard my music probably a year back, reached out and just gave me respect on it. You know what I'm saying? So it was a mutual feeling for us, us appreciating the music. I put out Section 80 a couple months later. Like, yo, I need you on this tour. You know, it'll be a pleasure, it'll be an honor. I was like, that's dope, man. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't back down from that, you know, to, to expand my music to a crowd that haven't heard it before. I know it's 15,000 people out there. I'm used to 2,000. I'm finna work. I'm finna get at least 100 of these folks, you know, to understand what Kendrick Lamar was, man. And uh, it was fun, man. We had a great bond on there, man. ASAP Rocky did his thing. Just a bunch of young cats, man, spreading good music. Okay. Now I ain't gonna lie. What is that supposed to tell us? Drake came to Drake came to LA. Hold on, wait. Let me found t- him and everything, and it took I'm, off from there. Let me tell you what I'm doing right now, right? I know what you're doing. You Drake lost, lost right? <laughs> Drake lost. There's no no debating that. Yes. But if my nigga gonna lose, he gonna lose like Buzz Lightyear. Said, let him go. You're out not with flying. <laughs> you're falling with style. <laughs> you <follow laughs> with <laughs> go. On some ball <laughs> shit. My, I nigga, am. my nigga, my nigga gonna fall with some style. Nah, all right, for real. Let's be serious. Though, so um, mm. Down yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't see it going like that. I thought he had more gas in the tank. I thought Drake had a, at least another, but he waved the white flag. Yeah, it's a, you think so? So you don't think, think Drake could have kept going if he wanted to? I think because of the the people that he's attached to, and everything that we how we what we left off with well, last week when we claiming all these powerful white folks. Mm-hmm. And they pockets starting to get tampered with, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with they number one art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey man, shut the fuck up, nigga. Drop that shit, nigga. And let's get mm-hmm. back to this bag. You ain't got no choice. I honestly, yeah. if it was up to Drake, mm-hmm. maybe so. But he got too many ties. People got too many investments. You preaching in this suit today? And him, boy. Listen. So now he been preaching for the last three days. He been wearing <laughs> suits every day. Mm-hmm. Like so, you, you gotta, re, you gotta appease the people who got their money in you. Mm -hmm. Because without them, how much money do you really got? Yeah, Kanye is a perfect example And we know what what those people are. We just ain't gonna say anything. So at the end of the day, he had to to bow down gracefully. (laughs) The J words. He had to bow bow down gracefully. If that wasn't the case, who's to say where this will go? But... Mm. Too many people losing money into it. You pulling up old videos. Why don't you pull up that old video of him and Paul Rosenberg? And he talking about, I'm, I'm about to be the biggest Jewish rapper ever. And yeah, I had Barton. Yeah, pull up that. Now, I got some shit that's yeah, going to make him look that. bad. Don't worry about it, man. Listen, mm-hmm. so I was really being funny when I played that last I know one. you was. <laughs> <laughs> I was really being funny. Got um, Black Jesus but, over here about to get mad. Right. You know, <laughs> on one of them songs, I can't remember what Drake song, what, what song was it when he was like, this is what I didn't realize till the other day. I was watching Joe. The nigga said, um... My bad. The nigga said, um, where your uncle at? I want to speak to the man of the house. Do you know why that's so fucked up? Yeah, because it's, yeah. Well, do you know why it's so fucked up, bro? You, you got to you gotta play. Hit, hit me with it again. Oh. Drake, on the, so on the verse, Drake said, where is your uncle at? 
I don't want to speak to the man of the house. Do you know why that's why why that was like? Because yeah. when you first hear it, you don't think nothing of it. Because I didn't think nothing of it until like yesterday. You gotta you still you gotta don't listen, really. You gotta listen to Kendrick's music to yeah, know what he's talking about. Say, he wasn't Dra- grew up. Listen, huh? um, Kendrick. Like that. Now listen, yeah, that's his, a fact. His, his but, auntie. Something but like that. hold on, wait, yeah. Brandy. Oh, the uncle is a transformer, man. It's a Decepticon, got man. Got you, got you, got you. All right. So Ooh. Drake saying, Ooh, okay. "Where is your uncle at?" Okay. <laughs> I want to speak to the man of the house. Okay, he... got you. Whack. Got you. <laughs> I thought it was fucked I up. I mean, but that's a you good bar. This, I mean, but, hey, but see, that's a bar. But that's see, a bar. That go back to the conversation we had the other day when the last time we was ta- uh, either the last time or the time before that when we was talking about this shit, how we want people to get straight to it. And how a motherfucker can say something that go over your head and you don't, unless you know what's going yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah. You got to really Fact. follow. You got to the, really be yeah. following and knowing what's going Fact. on yeah. to understand Fact. that shit. Yeah. And but but you know like because I didn't catch that. Yeah. yeah I like, have no idea. When he break it down, I can put it together. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I don't have the information. That's like, what I'm saying. And that's why somebody I had to explain music, you know it. I, I was watching Joe, <laughs> and they was like, and I'm like, oh, yeah. you gotta listen mm-hmm. to the music. You but that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Drake's problem, nigga. You always bringing up somebody. Why are you bringing up the auntie? She ain't got nothing to do with this beef. And that's why you got hey. murdered and all your shit came out the closet. Family that, matters. Quit bringing up people's, you feel me? And that's what Kendrick said. And that was my whole he thing. Kendrick that. was like, this is supposed to be a friendly exhibition. Today. Yeah, he mm-hmm. did say You that. went and started you bringing up my it, family and shit, nigga. So something. now I'm going to cut your juggler. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. And, that's and what now he did. all this pedophile shit, all and this shit about younger kids. But he said the industry was about to get raided. Yeah. He, he said that in there. He, he said Cat Will- he said he said Cat Williams is g- told his truth. He said, let me tell Matt. He warned yeah. LeBron to stay away from him. He warned he warned who else? He said stay Kyrie. From- yeah. He they- said keep the he said keep the family away. They looking at the embassy. I'm gonna shoot to keep the family. I ain't gonna lie. I Kendrick- hope LeBron ain't got nothing to do with that. Lord have mercy. You know what Kendrick did do? You know how sometimes you got to walk up to the biggest nigga in the room and, and put him on his ass to set an example for everybody else? Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with me. I bet you won't nobody else come fuck with dude. On everything. Oh, they, he can dude. drop one album every four years and niggas going to be like, I oh, see what and, J. And, Cole was like, hey. And, and this the thing. <laughs> and this the thing because we always talk about the style of music Kendrick make. Like, he don't make nothing for the radio. He don't make nothing for the club. And then this nigga came with this. Mm. I, it, it was so crazy is... That song, and he's breaking records with that. Yeah. It's breaking, it's, be, it's breaking Drake shit with yeah. the with Drake's diss songs. He's breaking that niggas. Yeah, <laughs> with that one song, yeah. bro. But hey, did y'all see the picture where a fan called uh, J Cole at the beach and took a picture with him? Ooh, that no. nigga, hey, he peaceful. He like, look, leave me alone. I'm out here listening to beats <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> I had watched a real earlier. Ti was Love on the. T.I. was on a, a podcast interview with uh, Big Boy, and they was asking T.I.'s uh, uh, his viewpoint on Cole's back, uh, dropping the diss and backing out or whatever. And he said something that was kind of valid to me. He was like, we don't know what type. We said, he's like, we ain't never seen Cole angry. So who's to say where that would have took him to? Yeah, because mm-hmm. if he might have did that for his own for his sanity. own sanity. Because he so probably, everybody looking at it like, oh, he's a bitch, or he dropped, or he should have. But you don't know what type I'm, of mental state certain people be in. So if mm-hmm. I indulge in this, mm-hmm. and we all know that certain beefs or whatever, it start out lyrical, but shit can't escalate. Just for the sport of Just lyricism, sport. Yeah. I would like to see mm-hmm. them go. I would. I would too. like to see the, because I bet you J Cole is gonna put the same amount of time effort. As Kendrick. Yeah. So but you know what? I would say J. Cole, he could never be no bitch because any nigga with the atmosphere that was going on right now with Diddy. I was about to say, he, he slapped Diddy. Diddy. He, he put Kendrick. hands on Diddy. Mm-hmm. For Kendrick. <clears throat> so, yeah. He did. I ain't know yeah. about that. Yeah, and, Diddy, and Diddy smacked Drake and peed on his... Uh, peed on I him, remember bro. Diddy smacking Drake. Drake over that 0 to 100 shit. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That was yeah. back in Miami. At Cup, that, was worse, that beat hard. That was worse yeah. smacking yeah. a nigga over And he murdered that motherfucker. And you could yeah. tell it's a, ba- it's a bad boy. It's beat. a New York mm-hmm. type of bad boy. It is a bad boy. That's a bad... All you need is the glasses. Ding, ding, <laughs> bad boy. Yeah, it was one of them, so I can understand that. Um, yeah. So kudos to, to to Kendrick. I don't feel like this beef is going to really um, change the fact that Drake is probably going to go down as 
the biggest rapper of all time, though. No, mm. fa- I, to, to be honest, yeah, I, must, I, I don't even. I, I must not be paying attention. What you mean? I sent that to you in the group. Y'all been y'all ain't been seeing what the hell been going on. Like more and more shit coming but out. No, dogs that, see, and see that that what you're speaking of. That's something totally different outside of music. If you put in the work for all these years and you get a Heisman and a motherfucker take your Heisman, are we gonna forget the work that you put in? But look, how, look how are they we do. gonna forget yeah, that they no, get? I'm asking, but R. Kelly's numbers are still. But R. Kelly got his Heisman back, right? But his numbers are still his, 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 back, right? his, numbers, his, still his numbers, though. That was, but, that was where the reference what came from, though. But you see how people <clears> argue about the thing about same thing with R. Kelly. I but still R. Kelly, respect his, his R. Kelly's music. catalog is still R. Kelly. That's what I'm saying. His work, his work ethic. He's still unfuckwittable. And not to not and not to mention dispute that though. You know what I mean? Why though? When half the world is populated off this nigga, that's that's the reason why they snatched. This records off of, off of every radio they in the country. That but, that no, that's a, that's a different. That was a, that was a shame thing. That's bro. Because, that was a, a, a to because de, we can't support you anymore. That mm-hmm. don't change the fact that this nigga made twelve play. Yeah, and this nigga made step in the name of the yeah. love, and I believe I can fly. Ignition, and fucking up. Yeah, like trapped dude, in the clouds. You come cannot on, you take can't. away his genius as an right. artist, bro. Regardless of what his shit is off the wreck, off of him being in the studio, he is the R of R and B. And no matter <laughs> what, and no matter what happens with Drake, with whatever done came out, whatever's about to come out, and whatever's going to come out, he's still gonna be. Is he still yeah. been they running this shit for thing. damn near a twenty piece? They still they gonna mm-hmm. do the same thing. It's gonna be the constant argument, just like how people got the argument about R. Kelly. It's gonna be the same thing for Drake. Period. For me, a constant argument. I ain't, the whole the whole R. Kelly. Listen, that I mean, we get into these conversations. Not I've always wanted to indulge in the R. Kelly co- topic. Maybe that's something to do later on down the line. But just since we then, all of that shit, man, is to tear down the image of an individual. Do if you have your shots? Like, have your passport. Kid. I ah. want to know if you're ah, coming hell, with me to America. <laughs> to America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything, man. So it's just like, they motherfuckers been on, they, they do shit, man. You can't tear down on an individual that's out there doing nasty and dirty But this is what I'm saying. What you, happens in the light comes, it's going to come, when, what happens in the dark going to come to light. It does when you don't play a part. But that's yeah. not going to change the movie. When you play, again, wrong, it won't wrong. play a but. I'm not disputing that love, but a lot of people have gotten away with a lot of shit until somebody did not agree or wanted to go along with the agenda anymore. That's why with the mm-hmm. big blow up with Diddy, the whole mm-hmm. big up uh, uh, with the Einstein or uh, the uh, Epstein motherfucker, somebody f- pissed saying. somebody yeah. off, mm-hmm. and that's why all this shit came up because yeah. motherfuckers been knowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the the good part about it is. You oh, always you got away with it for so long. You thought you was untouchable. Untouchable. And now got you, bitch. Yeah, like, you feel me? Like you fucked the wrong person over. But see, he, that's, he thought he was. He but that's he the was human. Untouchable. That's the human mind, though. All anytime, anytime that we us us as people have reached a uh, 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 success rate or and have obtained it for so long, we tend to think that we're above the law or that that's a yeah black people. Donald Trump. Yeah. Next. Oh man, before I before I say what I want to say <laughs> next, legit. I gotta give my, the the flyest nigga in the room his just due, man. man One listen. time, give a round of applause for the Scrooge O Block, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do try. He shut it yeah. down like a computer. Yeah. Goddamn it, yeah, yeah, I'm so gonna steal my man shit. Hello there. <laughs> hello, hello there. Hello there. Well, listen, you, you know, got the silk great coupon. Shit. Respectfully, <laughs> so, man. 